Hi YouTube, this is Easy Outs. Sorry it's been so long since I've made any videos, but it's been extremely busy. And our company's grown quite a bit. We actually just did a, a big move. We bought a second house, and uh, the reason we bought a second house is we were in a townhouse. We had grown to a point where I had to pay a considerable amount of money to park all of our equipment. And so we bought a property that has more property to it. We got about an acre and a half. It's on a dead end road so we don't really have to worry about uh, bothering neighbors and things like that. So anyways I thought I'd just do a quick update show you around a little bit. So here's the uh, new house in the background there. And this is the top portion of the property. You'll see just uh, the grass is terrible right now. We had a uh, had to get a new septic put in. Haven't really gotten fully set in yet, but uh, plows and spreaders and leaf vacuum and things of that nature are back there. And you can see everything's pretty well wooded back here. It's pretty nice. <clears throat> Still have the Suzu box truck primary function of that is running landscaping equipment out of it. We keep two mowers, two 60 inch zero turns I should say, all of our handheld equipments for that crew in there as well. And got a new dump trailer. It's the same brand as before, a Hawk. Same size as before, put walls on it again. The other one had gotten pretty rusty, so instead of trying to put too much time into fixing it, I just went ahead and replaced it with a newer one. I paid $3,500 for the previous one, and I was able to sell it for $2,500 after using it for quite a few years. It paid for itself many times over. The new one, in case you were wondering, was about $6,000. And... We've added a, another enclosed trailer since before. This one is an 8x16. It is pretty much just for running our lawn equipment out of as well, one of the crews. And in there we have a 60 inch zero turn and a 36 inch X mark turf tracer. We use that for the properties that have smaller backyards. And you can see one of our trucks here looks pretty rusty most of that rust is actually off of the dump insert need to take care of that somewhat soon but we've been very busy so it hasn't gotten taken care of yet but the truck itself still been doing well it has a lot of stupid little issues like switches for windows and things of that nature that just drive me nuts from time to time but that's life here's another enclosed trailer that we have. We've had this one for quite some time. Pretty much just leave this one sitting at this point as storage. I'm in the process of taking a lot of that stuff out of there and putting it into one of the buildings that I started building on the new property. Uh, it's a 6 by 12 Not really the best for running crews for lawn service out of, uh, but it does work if you're solo or maybe with one other guy. But it's just too difficult getting in and out of it, and I don't really like backing up single axle trailers to be entirely honest. Here behind me, you can see a new shed being put up. Uh, there's also some old ones there, and a plastic one. The old one's really in bad shape. Got a lot of stuff sitting around right now. As I mentioned, we're still in the process of getting settled in, and until we actually get settled in, that's just the way it's going to be but uh, got cameras up and things like that because prior to buying the house it got vandalized and uh, that was just lovely did about eleven thousand dollars of damage while we had the house under contract actually didn't have secure windows or doors up until just recently but that is what it is so again here's some of our snow equipment two of our plows and once I get past the tree here, 
try to go this way. There's two of our V-Box salt spreaders. They're salt dogs. One's a 1500 that I added walls on. The uh, walls actually make it a two and a half yard box instead of one and a half. The other one is the new version of the Salt Dog 2000 and it's been pretty nice. The plows are seven and a half foot western plows. They do have wings on them which I made a video about how to install them. The wings make a huge difference if you already have a straight blade and you're trying to increase efficiency. Again everything's kind of a mess right now. So right here, last year we added a big, big leaf vacuum. We got a 31 horsepower freight in, and uh, it's a monster. I have some videos of it as well. Uh, sitting out at the moment, again, ready to mount it onto a trailer so we can just pull it behind the dump truck that we just purchased. Speaking of dump truck, we added a dump truck to the mix recently and didn't really want to spend the money but one of the trucks was giving us problems so I bought a 2019 F550 it's four-wheel drive it is diesel so, yeah. again the dump truck is diesel it's got a 12-foot landscape dump on it it's really nice we've enjoyed it a lot Everything except for the payment and the increase on the insurance, but it's pretty sweet. I've said before, you have to be willing to invest in your business uh, whenever it's needed and it was needed. So, here's a little bit more of my house. And up here, as I mentioned, we're on a dead end road. We have like a nice little turnaround back here, which is great with the equipment built a little Millings driveway right here that goes down the hill to another area where I'm planning on building an actual shop once I have some time. And uh, just haven't had the opportunity as of yet. But once we get a chance, we're going to put a pole building of some sort down here. And we have this extra area all the way down here, quite a bit of space. So I plan on utilizing that for an actual shop whenever the time becomes available. Well, that was a quick tour of our new place and a little bit of an update, letting you know what's been going on. I'm going to try to make an effort to put more videos out. So if you have any questions, if you're looking for any advice, just let me know. And I'll do my best to attempt to help you out. I can help you out with both uh, junk removal or landscaping and lawn care questions if uh, at least i'll try thanks a lot talk to you later